my hand. I wish you could buy them. It'd be a hell of a lot easier. Um, but you can't buy them. We looked at um, doing them with clay, baking, you know, yeah. like sort of clay. Uh, but that that'd be partly cheated, and also they'd just be from, you know, very very uh, replicated. That's the word, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So they'd be pretty much the, the same. Whereas these are what they are genuinely unique every single one. Oh, hi, my name is Veronica Park and uh, I'm an artist um, and I live in Stratford-upon-Avon. And uh, what, what do you specialise in? This is this is painting specially, is um, it? It's uh, sort of like pastels with coloured pencil and uh, the newest ones which uh, are sort of uh, using acrylic paints. So it's um, sort of like mixed media really. And how long would it take to do one? Uh, it depends. It depends. It, depends. Um, um, it can be three to five days if that's working every single day, or it can take three weeks with breaks in between. It depends what mood you're in at the time. It's very delicate and sensitive work, isn't yes. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Does this gentleman want to say anything? Is he related? Oh, this is my lovely husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I load up the van right, and unload the van, and that's my skills as an artist. I do try hard uh, to sell goods quality and of items that are perhaps a wee bit unusual that you wouldn't find um, down the road, so to speak. So what you see here are stones from all over the world, um, nature at its best, should I say. up two years ago. I am a single mum to a two-year-old girl. So I travelled to India with my little girl in a sling when she was seven months to have my jewellery made to find two, to find uh, artisans, local artisans to make it, um, which I accomplished. So I work directly with two families now, so it's all fair trade. And while my jewellery is being made, I go and handpick all the apple shawls in the Himalayas and the wall hangings in Rajasthan. I'm doing very well. Thank I'm you. very happy. I love it. I love the work. Yeah, this is um, Kashmiri handicraft, and it's um, <laughs> it's Kashmiri handicraft imported from Kashmir, all hand painted, um, and it's paper mache base with the hand paint work, and then lacquered over the top. Yeah. So that's that's it. Thank you very much. No Thank you. Out of it. Hello, I'm Alison. I uh, run a company called A Touch of Glass and we sell glass nail files. Yeah. And I'm on the market yeah. today in Stratford and the weather's lovely and there's lots of people around and we're hoping for a good day. Glass nail files never wear out, they're endless. Um, wash them out and they come back to new again. And we have a variety of colours, stones, um, and sizes. Uh, that's it really. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yes, I am. Uh, uh, I do velvet cars. Uh, yes, something like this. Uh, my idea is make people surprise. Jennifer. Um, yes, how we do it? Like um, we make some sample by my hand. Then uh, uh, when when my friend says yes, yeah, that's nice or thing like that, so I start uh, make a lot by laser machine cut. So it will quicker and cheaper. Yes, and then uh, uh, see that's how I make them. 
um, I've got an actual florist shop um, and I just do this as a, as a sideline in my shop. I do fresh flowers and then all my giftware with it as well. So, um, But it's just nice to get out into the fresh air. <laughs> We do uh, the rescue centre, rescue wells, all birds of prey uh, from anywhere, anywhere in the country. We're we'll going fishing.